In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this really cool paper news reveal effect. Whereas if you click, the newspapers will fly to the side and reveal your text. And we're starting from a blank canvas. Now first we want to give that nice texture to the background. So go to background, elements, and here we type in paper. Go to photos, and then select any paper texture that you like. I'm choosing this one and dragging it on the screen. Now we go to the text tab, and I choose one of the pre-existing compositions. You can choose whichever one you like. I'm going to ungroup it and then double click on the top one and let's type in reveal and for the bottom one effect. For the text color I like it but I think in this case in this design something darker and more newspaper like will fit better so I'm choosing a dark gray color. Let's make it slightly smaller. There we go. Now we go back to the elements tab and we're looking for the newspaper rips so I go for newspaper and ripped. And here we go to the graphics tab and we can choose any of the newspaper rips that we like. They don't all have to be the same color. I'm choosing a variety, so I'm just going to select a few and click to add them on the slide. I'm going to add about eight or 10 and they can all be different colors, different shapes, different sizes. That doesn't really matter. So let's select a few more. I'm just not going for this burned effect. I'm choosing the regular parts. You can always go to magic recommendations and choose some other ones if you like. So there's multiple to choose from. Let's add a few more. And I think and that will do. Now go to position, select both text elements. So hold the control or shift key and then drag them downwards. So you release them on top of the paper texture. Let's close this tab. And now we're going to rearrange the papers. So rearrange them on the slide. You can scale them up or down as you like. Some of them I'm making a bit larger and other ones you can rotate and try to fill up the page. I always like it when the colors are sort of contrasting. So we have a few of the dark ones and they're contrasting nicely with the page next to it. So let's just drag them across the slide until we cover most of it. Let's rotate this one, increase it a bit in size. And then we need one more here for the top. So I'm going to try to grab that one. There we go. And then this one, I can hover it over and place it in between. Maybe make this one slightly larger. Hit it slightly. There we go. Now what we want to do is we want to duplicate the page. And on the second page, we want to pull all the papers apart. So we can make them smaller and drag them to the corner. You can always rotate them, but just don't release them off the slide or they will disappear. So I'm going to select a few, make them smaller, same for this one, and rotate it so they sort of stay on the slide but on the border. Rotate and make it smaller until we make the text or the reveal effect entirely visible on the page. So do the same here and the other ones. I'm not changing the order or the layer order. I'm keeping that exactly the same. I'm just changing the size, position, and the rotation. And then final two. And this one, we can put it on the top. There we go. You can decide if you want to have more of it visible. That is always perfectly possible. You can choose to have whatever amount of the paper visible. Let's increase a few so that they're not all just at the edge, but it's more of a scattered view. Then I'm selecting the text. I'm not grouping it together. I'm just selecting them together and increasing the size. It's important that we don't group these texts together if we don't do it on a previous slide. So if you were to group it here, you can also group it here, but it has to be the same. Then go to thumbnail view, hover in between the slides and add transition. Now we're choosing the match and move transition and we're reducing the duration to about two seconds. And now let's preview what we have. And this is how you can make this really cool paper reveal effect. Whereas if you click, the papers shift to the side and the text kind of comes forward from in between. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.